Welcome back everybody to Weather Animations. Today, we look at the 2004 Atlantic hurricane season, where a total of 16 depressions formed. 15 of those 16, tropical storm status. Nine of those hurricanes, and six that became hurricanes, became major hurricanes. This is a rather interesting hurricane season, not high in terms of numbers, but very fatal. 3,261 total fatalities for this season and $61.2 billion in damages. Please stay tuned for this unprecedented hurricane season where numbers were small, but when they happened, they were big. Begin this 2004 hurricane season with, well, Hurricane Alex. It didn't do much to begin with, but it was our first hurricane and our first major hurricane of the season, rushing by the Outer Banks of North Carolina as a Category 2 storm and proceeding off to the North and East where it reached major hurricane status. Luckily, no landfall. Tropical Storm Bonnie here. It formed east of the Lesser Antilles and Right into the Caribbean it went as a tropical depression. Its peak intensity at 65 miles an hour with a minimum central pressure of 1,001 millibars. Bonnie did not become a tropical storm for quite some time after becoming a depression and really didn't reach tropical storm status until it reached the Gulf of Mexico. It did return towards the north and east where it made landfall in Florida our first landfalling storm of the season. Next up, we have Hurricane Charlie, our second hurricane of the season, and yes, our second major hurricane of the season as well. Formed in a similar location as Bonnie, but became a hurricane difference there and the peak intensity just slightly below category 5 status at 150 miles an hour making it nicely in the category 4 realm made landfall in Florida and South Carolina and maximum wind speed 150 minimum central pressure 941 next up hurricane Danielle yes another hurricane not major though as it only reached 110 mile an hour peak wind speed at 964 millibars. This storm stayed out to sea, thankfully not making landfall. Next up, we have Tropical Storm Earl. Not much to speak of here, less than just two days. Maximum wind speed, 50 miles an hour. Minimum central pressure, 1,009 millibars. After which we have Francis. Yes, another hurricane. And another major hurricane. Reaching peak wind speed at 145 miles an hour. Minimum central pressure, 935 millibars. And yes, Francis did make landfall and it was in Florida at least that's for the United States it did pass over the Bahamas as well where it wreaked havoc there as I mentioned earlier this was a very fatal season and we are currently understanding why this is the case major hurricanes everywhere landfalling hurricanes everywhere and that just does not make for a great recipe in terms of safety for civilians. That's why we got to make sure we understand these storms to the best of our abilities so we can better forecast them and lower our death tolls and our economic loss from these major events. But it'll be okay if you just stay with me. 
Next up, Gaston. Of course, it's a hurricane because it's 2004 and everything was a hurricane. But this one was just barely a hurricane. Just barely at 75 miles an hour, making landfall around Charleston, South Carolina at a minimal hurricane. Minimum central pressure though, 985 millibars, and it sped off towards the north and east, after which. Next up, Hermine. Luckily, this was not a hurricane. And yes, it did make landfall yet again. Peak intensity at 60 miles an hour, minimum central pressure rather high at 1,002 millibars, and only lasted a couple days where it ran into the United States. Next up, we have Hurricane Ivan. Yes, the strongest hurricane of the 2004 Atlantic hurricane season. And you guessed it, it did make landfall. We will see that here in a little while. However, it formed on the 2nd of September and lasted to the 24th of September. Long storm, but we can see it formed just off the coast of Africa and trekked across the Caribbean. After the Caribbean, we'll see what it does in the Gulf of Mexico, but I preface that with it made landfall. Maximum wind speed, just barely category five, status at 165 miles an hour. Minimum central pressure, rather low at 910 millibars. Now we are finally in the Gulf of Mexico, many, many days later. And we're looking for a landfall as a major hurricane. have Tropical Depression 10, the first unnamed storm of the season. Maximum wind speed only 35 miles an hour and did not make any impacts to land. And yes, we have another hurricane here at major at that and maximum wind speed just barely category 3 status and 120 miles an hour. Minimum essential pressure 950 millibars making landfall in Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, and taking a turn, turn towards the north, and yes, it did turn back after making a loop, and you guessed it, right into Florida. We had multiple landfalls this season so far in Florida, and most of those were hurricanes, so a lot of damages occurred in 2004 in Florida, this being one of them. Luckily though, it was not a major hurricane at landfall in Florida. Psych, major hurricane at landfall. Next up, we have Hurricane Carl. Yes, another hurricane. And yes, it was a major hurricane. Nestled nicely into category four status at 145 mile an hour peak wind speed, minimum central pressure, 938 millibars. Luckily though, Carl did not make landfall, which is surprising for this hurricane season, but it was a godsend because the rest of this hurricane season was rather destructive as we saw at the beginning with the statistics.
Next, we have Lisa, and yes, another hurricane. Luckily though, Lisa did not reach hurricane status anywhere in the land and did not make a landfall. I do. That's great for you. Lisa was barely a hurricane with a wind speed at 75 miles an hour. Mineral pressure pressure is pretty common for a low end hurricane at 987 millibars. Next up, Tropical Storm, Matthew, but yes, it did make landfall in Louisiana. Maximum wind speed at 45 miles an hour. Not very strong, thankfully. Next up, we have Subtropical Storm, Nicole, not reaching really tropical storm status, but get maximum wind speed at 50 miles an hour. After which, we have Otto, which is our last named storm of the season. Formed rather late, on November 29th-ish, and lasted till December 3rd. Maximum wind speed only 50 miles an hour, with a minimum central pressure at 995 millibars. Otto was not a threat to land as it just meandered around the tropical Atlantic, literally in the middle of nowhere. So with that, I want to leave you with this here animation and thank you for watching this video and please stay tuned for more because we got more videos like this coming very soon to the channel. Please hit the like button, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our uploads and our amazing animations of breathtaking hurricane seasons like this one. So please stay tuned.